I'm Susan Tejada. I'm a writer. I'm Ami, and I'm a professor at the Computer Science Department at George Mason University. My name is Brenda Wessner. I am Andreas Vatikunis. I'm an independent filmmaker, and I love the octopus. I like the octopus because it's, it's, it's dramatic, it's got good acting, it has a good script, very intelligently written. I first saw the octopus by accident. I'm a big fan of the International Mystery Series, but I didn't realize that the octopus was a mystery. The title is somewhat misleading. It sounds like a natural history show. Uh, but since I watch M MHZ frequently, I just stumbled upon it. And, um, and then I was hooked right away. The genre of the octopus, uh, it's not a mystery or whodunit. It's uh, a well-known genre of uh, crime movies, gangsters movies, uh, drama. It's uh, a fight uh, between uh, good and evil, you know, protracted files over, over, over uh, many hours. Uh, the good being uh, one lone crusader, which is a uh, uh, police uh, inspector, commissario, and uh, the evil being a huge organization that has uh, many tentacles, you know, that reach everywhere. I first discovered uh, Octopus uh, about three years ago. I was watching a, a movie on uh, MHZ, and it was an Italian movie made in Germany, but it was filmed in, in Venice. And there was a host who would moderate that those, some of those movies, and he mentioned the series coming up and taking place in Italy, and so I, whenever it came on, one week, two weeks, three weeks later, or whatever, I started watching it. I, I just really, really liked it. I mean, he was arriving in town in Sicily, you know, taking over the, you know, the police department, and then the young man who was assigned to work with him is killed right in front of him, and just like, my, you know, you could just tell this is going to be a dramatic, exciting show. Well, I discovered the octopus back in college when we were doing a course called Reading Television. We would study the discourses and the semiotics of television, and we used international television as an example against American television. The fun part was is that I believe my professor was a fan of the octopus and kind of put it in there ever so slightly, got me hooked, and I went off to go find it on my own. Good character development, and there you can see in some of the especially the main character, Corrado, the actor, you can see all these emotions going through him that are not obvious ones, you know, like now I'm going to be sad, now I'm going to be this. It's just, you can see his passion. You can see his, um, uh, his sense of justice. He's got flaws, he's got compassion, he's got torment. And I just like all this, these things. And you can see them sometimes all at the same time. And there are just a lot of good characters. It was very professionally acted, you know, very professionally acted, uh, well-known actors, you know, each uh, really chosen uh, to, to fit the role. A little strange, perhaps, that for such a quintessential uh, Italian production, you know, they, for some reason, uh, preferred uh, to choose quite a few of the leading actors playing Italian roles, I mean, foreign actors playing Italian roles, uh, French and a German, and at one point, an American. You all recognize Martin Balzo, very well-known char American character actor. They all actually were dubbed, and it was quite obvious that, that on some of the, on, in some of the scenes, it was quite obvious that they were being dubbed into Italian, but uh, I guess that Italians are so used to dubbing that they didn't mind it. Terracina is right. It's so well written. It's not like a lot of shows of today's that the scripts are not very good. You don't see very many well-scripted shows, but I think the script is good, the characters are well-developed. It may be interesting to uh, compare La, La Piovra, you know, with the other uh, well-known uh, Italian uh, crime series, Commissario Montalbano. They're both based in Sicily and as such, you know, occasionally uh, in uh, Commissario Montalbano there is a reference to the Mafia. But uh, Montalbano incorporates much more local character, local colors, um, it uh, has its lighter moments, it has uh, humor, it, uh, it has its funny uh, uh, policeman that uh, bumbles, the bumbling policeman. There's hardly any, any humor in uh, The Octopus, you know, it's uh, uh, sweeping, uh, serious, engaging, 
and uh, even creates in you an uh, effect of rage and, and, and melodrama. So, quite different. Michael Placido, his acting was just, you know, intriguing. You know, who's this character? Why is he always brooding? And then, furthermore, when you looked at the plot, you know, this one-man stand of trying to go against a corrupt, A, regime being the mafia, and then the politicians and the police. And so it was just, it had every element that I really wanted in oh, international cinema slash TV. And, you know, being that it was also from the 80s, it was a bit older, so it had this cool effect where you could find a lot of 80s vehicles and Italian sets and these elaborate houses and these beautiful pieces of architecture from thousands of years of history of Italy. All of the above elements that you know, really c captured my attention have kept me captivated ever since. The music uh, was composed by the famous uh, Ennio Morricone, you know, clearly the dean of uh, uh, film composers, of Italian film composers, and uh, he's well over 80 now and uh, still very active and has by now has probably something like uh, 500 uh, film scores to his credit, uh, received an Academy Award, an Honorary Academy Award in 2007 and familiar to most Americans probably through his uh, collaboration with uh, Sergio Leone in the 60s. And then, of course, the plot and the characters. I mean, that's what it's all about. The, the plot is, you know, endlessly uh, complex and captivating and exciting. And the characters are also <laughs> endlessly complex and captivating and exciting. The main character, Carado Catani, is so uh, sympathetic. You know, he's, he's so heroic. Um, and so that's why I got hooked right away.